Okay, so I'm here with my yoga instructor, Michaela, and she is offering, will be offering individual classes or group classes. So tell us where you're from. I'm from here, actually born and raised in Channing, alumni from Boys Ranch, right. and been traveling the world for the last 17 years and just kind of made it back in September. And you started doing yoga when? Um, well, I studied in Rishikesh, India, which is the birthplace of yoga, and um, I started doing yoga as my own self-practice about 10 years ago, and then became certified as a yoga teacher in Rishikesh about six or seven months ago. Tell me the kind of overarching objective of yoga. Why should someone want to do yoga? Well, because I love it, so everybody should. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, it has exponential benefits for no, the general one that everybody says is I'm not flexible I can't do yoga. Mm. That's absolutely untrue. In fact, you need yoga if you're not flexible um, But the original foundation of yoga was for health reasons for digestion for to heal, um, to heal elements if you will so as you begin to move and you begin to find these proper alignments and postures, that's when we find that we have a overall health benefit to your mind and to your body. So we include meditation, which is the calming of your mind. It really relaxes your mind. It allows you to get away from those cortisol stress levels, as well as this proper alignment of your spine, proper alignment of stacking all the bones that you have. Um, and we come into this place of an overall health picture whenever you begin to practice yoga and practice yoga steadily, almost daily, you can find this overall health benefit. Conditions that Westerners normally uh, suffer from high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, those types of things, does yoga have any impact on those? Well, absolutely. I would, maybe not a, a, in a direct sense that you would think, um, with yoga, you have these foundations of an overall health. So you want to eat lots of vegetables, which helps those things automatically. Um, when you lower cortisol levels, when you lower your blood, it lowers your blood pressure. Whenever you breathe deep, um, just like you're always saying, um, the critters hate oxygen. Mm -hmm. So as you're deep breathing, you're inhaling and you're exhaling, that's helping get rid of inflammation right, right off of the bat. And so many of these diseases are caused by inflammation alone. So just right. with the process of slowing your mind down, lowering those cortisol levels, getting some deep breaths and some proper alignments, it really does begin to affect those very common ailments that we see, such as diabetes and high blood pressure. Any contraindications or obstacles to doing yoga for anyone? Well, um, I would like to caveat, always check with your healthcare provider to make sure that you're um, not doing anything you shouldn't be doing, but there's always room for yoga for anybody. It doesn't matter if you have a replaced hip, replaced knee, um, or if you're just injured in general, such as from a shoulder surgery. Um, there's a place for everybody in yoga. Even if you're in a chair doing yoga, um, the principles can be followed. So I would say, know that, I mean, anybody can do yoga, um, as long as you're under the guidance of a trained professional. Are there, is there any impact of yoga on neuropsychiatric disorders like ADHD, depression, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder? Um, well, the Vedas, which is the, the beginning, the founders, the scriptures of yoga, where it came from. So one of the things that it talks about is, is exactly that mental health. Um, a lot of mental health comes from this outside um, feelings and then internal feelings that you're not good enough. Um, you focus in on that internal, the depression and the isolation. Whenever we get into that and we begin to calm ourselves and we calm our bodies and we calm our minds, we're able to go out and we're able to socialize. We're able to feel better almost instantaneously. Right after a yoga session, you have those endorphins that are released and you immediately have that sense of, I feel a little better than I did an hour before. And it doesn't have to be something serious like going to the gym or a big, heavy, strong workout where you're really going to get that, that dopamine high. But here, with the breaths and the deep breathings and what you really want to focus on is movements with your breath. You're inhaling, you're doing a specific movement. You're exhaling, you're doing a specific movement. Um, really, whenever you are able to
to just focus on that. It takes away that, that internal self-talk. And that is a first step, a stepping stone of really overcoming a lot of um, mental disorders such as um, anxiety, panic attacks. Those are like the number one and number two things that can be resolved with regular yoga practice. As you learn to just take those moments, you take those breaths, and really it brings those levels down right away. And so in your instruction, do you modify the classes such that people like me can, <laughs> yes. can start where they are? Yes, right. I absolutely. Well, I think that you can attest for that. So. Everybody comes in at a different level, whether you're coming in with an injury, and it, we can focus more on a PT type style, really getting in, getting your stretches, getting you able to even get into an original posture. Um, asanas is what we call a posture. So to get you into the starting asanas, we have to focus on just getting you stretched to those positions, mm -hmm. teaching you that proper alignment. Or you might have somebody who's been an athlete their whole life that has a stronger ability. Maybe they have the foundations of yoga. Maybe they've practiced at home on their on their own for a while and they're coming in at a more past basics, closer to intermediate level. Of course, everybody has their own place and a trained, a trained yoga teacher will be able to modify to get to the lowest level and adapt to the highest levels. Awesome. Well, we'll put this up and we'll put your number there and people can get in contact with you and start some yoga. <laughs>